Hello everyone and welcome to another video on my channel. Today's video is going to be on my uh, Limatopum apiculatum. Pretty much they're just Cara they're the Carabera of Dilicodernae. This species I've never heard of in my life until about a year ago when a friend said that he caught a queen of the species. Of course, after hearing a name that I didn't, you know, ever hear before, I searched him up and while well, I learned that Limatopum is probably one of the most interesting ants in the US. First things first, how big does the colonies get? Well, in a while they can get to about 80,000 workers, but in captivity they can get even larger, probably around about 100,000. Another thing is that uh, although these workers look very small, full-sized workers get pretty big, around 5 millimeters in length. Due to the size, it makes it almost impossible to get a max colony size, but that's not going to stop people from trying. Another interesting thing is that they are polymorphic, which means they have different sized workers and even possibly majors. I'm not very sure on the major part, but they do vary in size a lot. And lastly, they make very long trails. Uh, this species is known for traveling pretty far distances and make very defined trails from one place to another. Because of this, it means that they might want to have a very large foraging space which they can explore, and that can be pretty difficult for most keepers. I've been feeding my colony crickets, mealworms, honey for most of its life, uh, since I've had them so far, pretty much. The colony, when I got them, had about 40 nenetics, but uh, now ha they at least have around 100 workers or so. They have a lot of work new workers coming as well. Uh, they look really interesting, uh, their colors anyways, because, uh, like, when you're looking at them normally, they don't look like they have, like, really any color. They just sort of look black, but when you're in macro like I am here, you can see they are, they kind of have a weird color to them. Like, their face is kind of red and stuff, which I find is pretty interesting. Here you can see the colony eating. Uh... I just have mealworms at the moment, so that's all they're going to get. They're going to get a bunch of mealworms. Now, you can see in the video, you can see a little bit of that uh, worker size difference. I think right now it's just purely because there are some workers that are uh, still in that So there's going to be a little bit of that uh, super small worker and then relatively large worker, you know, sort of mixed together. Although, I think also larger colonies will have this as well. Another issue that I've heard people have had with the species is that they like to escape a lot. Uh, I think this is mainly because they just want to constantly be foraging. Uh, it's kind of their thing. It's just sort of like, go, 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 pretty much. Try to find new stuff, try to go see other things and all that. So I think they that's the entire reason why they escape a lot. It could also be because, uh, you know, as colonies get bigger, they need more and more food and the higher food demand, which also makes it pretty difficult to keep the species. I'm also going to be um, doing a competition, pretty much, with uh, Cheeto from Arthropod Antics and Sir Duckington from Ants AZ, alongside Biggie Man, a Maddie, and Condé's Computer from the Discord server, uh, Anki Beginning Ethology. This is pretty much, it's just me and them doing a race to see who can get to 10k and majors faster. Uh, and whoever gets first place, second place, we don't really know what's going to be the winning thing. Sir Duckington said he'd send out a, a Sir Duckington, like, medal of approval or something, so I guess there's that going for it. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's, that's pretty much all I have for this video, um... Thank you for watching. Uh, like it if you liked it. If not, I don't really care. Subscribe if you want. If not, I'm not. My feelings aren't hurt. Uh, have a good day.